This is uh, Ranji Raj Nair and today in my video I will be talking about the runs up and runs down algorithm. So this is the algorithm. It is of basically 7 steps. This algorithm, trust me, is very easy algorithm. If you solve it, you can easily score this algorithm uh, if you solve this problem. So let's get started. First you have to define the hypothesis for testing the independence. Now remember this test for runs up and runs down is not used for testing the uniformity. It is used for testing this independence. So first you have to define two hypotheses H0, H1 that Ri is independently distributed and Ri is not independently distributed. Now step two you have to write down the sequence of runs up and runs down. Now this sequence of runs up runs down is like you have to write plus or minus. This sequence stands for this plus minus. You have to write plus or minus. If two numbers of same range come then you have to write plus plus or minus minus. Now this I will be covering in my next tutorial. So right now you just understand the sequence is the plus minus sequence. Next you have to count the total number of runs that is the A total number of plus or minus are present. Now after this this is the fourth step that is you have to compute the mean and the variance. Now mean and variance in runs up and runs down algorithm is given as mu a mu stands for mean and a this a that is 2 times n minus 1 divided by 3 that is the n is the total number of numbers in the sequence if 40 numbers are there then n will come as 40 50 numbers 50 100 numbers and as 100 after this you have to calculate the variance that is the sigma a square as 16 times of n minus 29 upon 90. Now this formula you have to buy hard it. If you go wrong, your entire problem will go wrong. So after this you have the fifth step that is you have to calculate the standard normal test statistics. This is same as the chi-square test as well as the KS test. So in this you have to compute this Z0 that is the threshold you can say not the threshold but the value you calculate from the available data. This is a minus mu a upon sigma a. Now a you get from here, mu a from here and sigma a from here. Now this you calculate the sigma a square. We have to take the square root of this to write this. And this z0 is normally distributed in the range that is 0 1. After this you have to determine the critical value that is z alpha by 2 and minus z alpha by 2. Now this value of alpha could be anything like as I have told in my previous problems like alpha can be 0 0.05 so you take the half of 0 0.05 that is 0 0.025 so you have to determine this value that is the positive alpha by 2 and negative alpha by 2 after this you have to calculate the final step that is you have to determine your z0 is lying between these two ranges that is the minus z alpha by 2 and plus z alpha by 2 if the z0 lies within this range you will say that this hypothesis is not rejected and the numbers are independently distributed. So this is the Ranza Brunston algorithm. Hope you found this video helpful. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.